somewhat beer review. And I do say somewhat because I'm not really a pro at this. I just like beer. So, hopefully you do too. And tonight, join us with... Join us. It's only me here. What the hell? Join me with Semporo Premium Beer. Now, it's Japan's oldest brand. Now, if you saw the Asahi video, um, thank you for one. And second, I kept talking about a metallic note. On this, not at all. Wow, this is like old school. Do you know what this kind of reminds me of? Of course, I, you know, to be proper, I should probably pour this in a big beer stein or something like that. To, you know, let it breathe out or a good pint glass or something. Um, currently, right now, I'm doing a little bit of a home re renovation. <laughs> ah, renovation. Renovation. Ugh. Tongue tied. Anyways, what do you expect? I had that big ass Asahi. This is just like an hour after that. Anyways, so I'm doing tiling, I'm doing a few other things, but nonetheless, that's work. We're not going to talk about that. Anyways, so back to the beer. Um, you know, it's a premium. Is it a lager? Let me check this out. Does not claim to be a lager, but um, I forgot to mention on the um, Asahi video that the um, ABV, um, I think I read somewhere, because it was really hard. It wasn't even on the can, believe it or not. That's why I didn't even mention it. I think it's um, four, mm, let me think, 4.5? I think. I'm not sure. 4.5 or 4.8. It's something like it's, it's you know, really, uh, fr um, what's, the, what's the word they like to use? Uh, user friendly. Yes, that's the word. Alright, now let me explain this Samporo Premium Beer. Unlike the Asahi, now, that's what I have to reference it off because Asahi being my more favorite beer, and if you're wondering on my luscious <laughs> my luscious wall back here with Bia and Sushi and Kiren beer and how can we forget? Yes, Asahi. Don't you just like those cool posters in the back or sorry, scrolls in the back? Yes, you do. I don't blame you. I'm a Japanese fanatic. I love the culture. I love the people. I wish to God I knew the language. <sighs> well, that's, you know, that's my, uh, I guess you would say bucket list. You know, eventually learn the language, write the language. Just kind of like that song, Becoming Japanese. Dun, 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 dun. I don't fucking, I don't remember that song. I feel like an idiot right now. Well, that's the beauty of Japanese beer. Completely friendly. Sorry, I thought I saw something. Completely friend. God damn. After one beer, I'm already slurring? Jesus Christ. How can I even continue a beer review? Well, if you're still watching. Thank you. Anyways. Friend. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, you know, take the camera off me, maybe I can say it. Friend... <laughs> you know, I'm going to leave the takes in, I'm thinking about editing... <laughs> editing... <laughs> oh god, I can't even say that. You know what, just, it's okay. It's Sapporo beer, um, just in my opinion, it's even, if not one small grade under Asahi beer. But, I will say this, if you're looking for the bigger bite out of beer, as far as Japanese beers go, this is really, really where you want. Um, you're going to get more, let me see here, alright, right off of the smell, you're going to smell bitter hops. It's there, I mean, yeah, I mean, you, excuse me. Anyways, and right off, you do taste the hops. 
Put it this way, if you ever made your own homemade beer or had a friend that made homemade beer, you basically will know where I'm coming from. And I don't mean crappy homemade beer. I mean like somebody that actually knows what they're making. And they have that just really good hops in it. This is it, man. Premium beer? I agree. And again, you know, this is the kind of beer that, you know, it's good with sushi. It's not a, let's not front. You know, in my favorite, I like it, what I call this as a barbecue beer. And, you know, it's no surprise, what, the, what do you mean a barbecue beer? Well, what I mean, hold on, check the time. Alright, had to tap the screen there. Anyways, you know, like a barbecue beer, you know, like, here it is, what's left of summer, or are we already in fall, I don't know. Um, you know, it's like late September, so, whatever. Anyways, barbecue beer, you know what I mean? Like, put some chicken on the grill, put some of that Sweet Baby Ray, my favorite. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Go get Sweet Baby Ray. I swear. And get the original, by the way. Or, or, get the uh, honey one. Oh, God, is that delicious. Oh, I mean, just put the whole son of a gun on the... I just go nuts with it. Please go nuts with it. You will not regret it. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. Anyways, back to the beer review. Again... No matter how, you can like let this thing sit down and then pick it back up and you'll still get the same results. I mean, I've actually had this kind of beer where I left it on the counter for about an hour and it was kind of warm. Came back and had it and it was just more flavor. Again, it keeps hitting you back with the hops. Um, for those that don't know, from what I hear, um, more hops equals more of a buzz, so um, from what I hear, um, I talked to a, what the hell was he, um, a Budweiser truck driver, something or another, that's what he told me, I, I mean, you know, being that I don't know too much about beer, I don't really know how to make it, I know the ingredients, but I don't know the whole process, if I knew the whole process, I probably wouldn't buy my own beer, but for the most part, considering what hops cost nowadays, I'll buy my own beer. Yeah, I don't want to wait a month. Anyways, nonetheless, um, is it a month or is it a week? I forget what it is. Type down below uh, what it is, a week, a month, I don't remember. So maybe I'll just go into YouTube, which is my second education, you know. High school? Yeah, I learned about math, science, social studies, you know, American history. But YouTube, thank you. And I'm not trying to endorse anything. I'm just saying, without you guys, I wouldn't even know about half the shit out there, man. So thank you, YouTube. I love you guys. You guys really don't get enough credit, honestly. Uh-oh, did he put his pinky up while drinking a beer? Yes, I did. My, how fancy. Anyways... So, I got a six pack of this uh, Sapporo for about. Oh, let me think. It wasn't cheap. Um, God, I don't know. Ten eighty eight, something like that. Uh, I don't remember. I'll have to talk to my cameraman. Um, anyways, but um, you know, it's it's not like. <laughs> like a Keystone Light or something like that. You know, not putting down those that like Keystone or, you know, uh, Natural Ice or Naughty Ice. What do you want to say? Um, this is definitely a step above, um, if not two. So, let's talk about rating. I'm trying to make this a quick video. Well, it's ten minutes, sorry. So, all in all, drinkability for this beer is a B minus. Uh, cost, sadly, is a C minus. And nonetheless, overall, B minus. Thank you.